my apologies about the light. Uh, a fuse blew or something. Our house was wildly wired. It was wired. I don't understand it. Um, anyhow, I... Here's the light switch. It does nothing. I have no clue if the light's on or off. I have lost track. I just don't know. Um, but anyhow, yeah. Um, <sighs> I'm so excited. Uh, this is hopefully gonna be a real cool song vlog. And, um, my pattern just arrived from Everlasting Art Design in Latvia. And I guess I'll open it for you. I'm so stoked. Uh, it wasn't supposed to come for another 10 days, according to the, uh, you know, ever so helpful Etsy. Um, arrival time, but it came early. I'll open it and then I'll get back to you. That's well paid. This is what I'm making. I am making. Fine, let's go. Oh, at some point, I'll also make this. And I also got this. Did I pop outside just so I can explain what's going on without having to bother the people inside who are busy actually being helpful and preparing for the camping trip we're going on shortly? Yeah. Um, so, I'm here to um, explain what's going on in this, uh, crazy sewing vlog. Um, so, you saw the pattern come in. I, I believe you saw me cutting out. What you missed is me, um, zigzagging the edges so that they wouldn't fray and attaching the, um, small skirt panel to the front skirt panel so that I had a proper full-size front, um, because I didn't have enough room, and I decided to add a little bit of extra depth to the pleats. So that was what you saw me doing, um, probably seeing me doing next, um, yeah. So I wanted extra depth in the pleats, and I didn't, it wasn't wide enough, so that's what that is. So, alright, so let's explain what's going on, <laughs> besides the fact that you missed. Um, so, this for the past two years? Last year, I made my oldest niece a dress, and I made myself a somewhat matching dress. Um, this year, I decided to make all three nieces um, matching dresses, and that's what I'm working on now. I'm finishing the hem of the final one, because, um, and... I'm make I wanted to make myself um something from the thirties because these dresses are inspired by a printer pin I found for a sewing pattern for little girls from the thirties. And so I was like, I want to make myself something from the thirties. So I made myself a blouse. Um it we'll probably have a blog post about it, but I made myself a blouse and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and spend money buy a pattern for a 1930 <laughs> skirt and just pray that it gets here in time and i prayed and um it arrived this morning that is um about 10 days before it was expected to arrive according to etsy which is where i got it from but that's okay because um uh today is um the final full day i have at home for um we're going to this family reunion where i will be giving the girls these dresses yes i'm working on the hems uh the day before i finished these dresses <laughs> i picked up the f fabric the last bit of the fabric i needed the um week before yeah a week before a week ago and i um i picked up the fabric a week ago and um i finished cutting it out you know uh let's like a couple days later so i am definitely um a last minute person but it's okay so uh yeah i'm this excitement 
the skirt that I'm making is I'm attempting to get it finished before the weekend. Um, however, I do not plan on taking the sewing machine with me. Um, so I would like to have the um, seam sewn because I don't want to hand sew seams. And I'd like to have, I, I mean, in some ways I, I'd like to have the seam sewn because that's like the most work in my opinion. If I have to hand do the buttonholes and um, hand do the hem, I can do that. I have yet to do the buttonholes in the little girl dresses. If I have to hand do them, I'm fine with that. I don't mind hand doing buttonholes and hand doing hems. I know I'm a crazy person, but um, I thought that was already clear because I was deciding to make the skirt. The um, starting the morning of the full day. Uh, for I'm going on this trip. So, uh, now you, this is a pretty basic skirt pattern. Um, there's five pieces, I believe. If you make it properly, which I'm not. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, um, I had to work today. I had things to do, places to go, people to see. So, um, I did a lot of hemming for the little girl skirts. I did, um, two and a quarter skirt hems, and I'm now working on finishing up the last one. Um, so that's good. But yeah, I'm attempting this wild thing, and I will try to document it, but um, the reason I didn't document zigzagging, sorry, again, is because I, um, it's a bit of a complicated setup, in order to get my uh, camera to um, look at the sewing section of the uh, sewing machine. If I want to show you the side of the sewing machine, real easy, but um, that's pretty boring. So I didn't want to mess with it. I wanted to zigzag. And yeah, I uh, got the zigzagging done with like minutes to spare before I had to leave this one. So miracles happen, and uh, I'm. <laughs> a bit nuts, but I, it's super excited. I am so stoked and pleased and just having the time of my life um, making the skirt. I, yeah, um, so more footage to come, but I can't guarantee that it will be what it will be. That's the future, so, um, bye. I finished my update. I had best go, uh, join the people being helpful and, uh, leave this to when I'm listening to the Bible, because, um, I can do that then. I can't do other things, and I should be doing other things. We've reached the park. Now, ideally, I would, um, wear this tomorrow. Uh, however, um, I have four buttonholes, three buttons, four buttons, the hem, and I'm not done with the waistband. So I don't know if that's possible. Um, that's what I'd like. Um, however, I kind of would also like the shirt I brought to wear with it. I just finished making a week or two ago. <laughs> And it's supposed to have a, um, collar tie thing. And it was, like, across the road. We had to carry the last of our stuff. We were told, you have to move out shortly after dawn. Like, move your car. And so, um, yeah. We had tents, still. So it rained the night before, actually. And we had all sorts of stuff that taken care of. So this, the water is receding, so we're going to be here, um, it's Wednesday evening, and we're going to be here until Sunday at some point. I don't know when we have to leave on Sunday. Um, but yeah. <laughs> the water is going down. That means it should get warmer. It should get warmer, and it should get shallower. So, 
it'll be great this evening when the needlings come and I can give my nieces the dresses and then we can go swimming. Not now pretty dresses, but yeah. Yeah, um, it's a bit cool at the moment. Mom said it was really cold. I'm not sure I agree, but I'm the only one out here at the moment, so I'm not. I'm, I don't think I ought to be swimming. I'm not that strong as a swimmer, and by myself, I mean there are like way behind me, or a little bit better than I'd be able to see, but I'm not going to, they're way off, and so I just, even if you're a strong swimmer, they say don't necessarily swim alone, I'm not a strong swimmer, I might go out further and wade, but for now, I'll so, and read. I'll stop chatting so I can focus. I don't know if I'll use this sound, um, or if you'll just get cut off and you'll see me sewing, but I'm on my last buttonhole. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened, and ha 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 C unit, but we have to have it on because people we hang out with are used to AC. AC unit's on. I'm on my last buttonhole. It's happened. And... Mm -hmm.